as Catherine and Joseph ask God to unite their souls in the bond of his love, today God will make them special instruments to communicate his love to those around them. I want to start out by thanking everyone for coming out tonight to celebrate the amazing Mr. and Mrs. Namor. We've had a lot of fun over the years, but I've never seen Joe more happy than when he's with Catherine. Not only is she incredibly kind, friendly, polite, down to earth, but she also works with children as a child life specialist. And to me, I think that's amazing. Catherine, being by your side for two and a half decades has been one of the greatest blessings of my life. I can remember fights, screaming, and slamming doors, but I couldn't have picked a better sister or friend. Now that we can, are older, I can finally admit how happy I am to have grown up with such a great sister. I have so much love and respect for you. I hope you truly know that and never forget it. I consider Joseph like a brother, and I'm so happy he found someone like you to spend the rest of his life with. Congratulations to both of you. Joseph and Catherine, when your parents asked God, he made you to be vessels of and sharers in his love. Today you've come here, and together you ask to be witnesses of his love in the sacrament of marriage. joy to see the two of you happy and ready to start the rest of your lives together. Cheers to your happily ever after. Thank you for truly loving my sister. I wish you both a lifetime of love and happiness. As you go and start your new life as husband and wife, I want to leave you with, in my opinion, two important things to have for a successful marriage. A sense of humor and selective hearing. Cheers. <laughs> Father, keep you, Catherine and Joseph, of one heart and love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. <laughs>